the shepherds went in haste and found Mary and Joseph in the infant lying in the manger. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God in the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, as we gather this evening to celebrate the feast of the Holy Family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only God the Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You to take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You who are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, and in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who were pleased to give us the shining example of the Holy Family, Graciously grant that we may imitate them in practicing the virtues of family life and in the bonds of charity. And so, in the joy of your house, delight one day in eternal rewards. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. He did for her as he had promised. 
she became pregnant and bore Abraham a son in his old age at the set time that God had stated. Abraham gave the name Isaac to his son of his to the son of his whom Sarah had borne him. The word of the Lord. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. Glory in his holy name. Rejoice. O hearts that seek the Lord, look to the Lord in his strength, constantly seeking his face. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac. The Lord remembers his covenant forever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, by faith, Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. He went out, not knowing where he was to go. By faith, he received power to generate, even though he was past the normal age, and Sarah herself was sterile. For he thought that the one who had made the promise was trustworthy. So it was that there came forth from one man, himself as good as dead, descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sands on the seashore. By faith Abraham, when put to the test, offered up Isaac, and he who had received the promises was ready to offer his only son, of whom it was said, Through Isaac, descendants shall bear your name. He reasoned that God was able to raise, even from the dead, and he received Isaac back as a symbol. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, He has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The Lord. When the days were completed for their purification, according to the law of Moses, they took him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. When they had fulfilled all the prescriptions of the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee, to their own town of Nazareth. 
The child grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the favor of God was upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In my short time as priest, I've found that it's not easy to come up with a homily for the feast of the Holy Family. One challenge is right in front of us. I'm a Catholic priest. I don't have a wife or children of my own. But I did grow up in a family and still have many relatives here in the local area. Besides, we have the rich teaching of the Church on family life to draw on as a resource. This was especially true during the papacies of Pope Paul VI and John Paul II. But there's another problem, though. A problem which affects those who listen to homilies about the Holy Family. We priests tend to hold up the Holy Family as a model for all families to imitate, which is a good thing to do. But it has some challenges in practice. First, in the Holy Family, we have a sinless mother and a son who is not only sinless, but also God. So try meeting that standard right there. In addition, the Gospels simply do not give us details of the daily life of the Holy Family. We're not told how Joseph and Mary handled disagreements between them. And yes, two people can be holy and still disagree. Their holiness is seen how they deal with those disagreements. We're told nothing of toxic or difficult relatives, difficult neighbors, health issues, or financial struggles, especially back in the days of Jesus' time. Homilists will project their own thoughts of what the ideal family should be onto the Holy Family and expect all families to live up to those thoughts. But as you and I both know, we are tempted sometimes to see the Holy Family as impossible, an unattainable ideal, with little relevance to the daily struggles or daily joys of the modern era. Today, though, in order to get the right answer, we need to find the right question. How then? Can the Holy Family offer us, families and individuals, as an example to follow? How can the Holy Family guide and inspire us? When Joseph and Mary were betrothed to each other, making their commitment to marry each other in a year or so, they could not have known what their future would look like. When a man and a woman decide to marry, they are in that same position. They know that they love each other, yes, and wish to seal that love in a great and permanent and free commitment to one another and to proclaim it to the world. Still, though, they cannot know where that commitment will take them. They do not foresee the twists and turns in the road ahead, some of which will test their faith, love, and yes, maybe even hope. They do not know what joys and what sorrows will be theirs in the years to come. But, but, they do know 
what Joseph and Mary do. They know that by virtue of the sacramental gifts they received in marriage, that simply the Lord will be with them. They can turn to Joseph and Mary as an example here. Not an example to be followed in great detail because, again, we do not have that kind of detail in the scriptures. Rather, married couples, all families, those in relationships, and all people can follow the example of faith that Mary and Joseph have left us. They gave themselves to the Lord as his servants so that all could happen according to God's word. On this great and simple feast day of the Holy Family, we know that every Christian family and every Christian individual is empowered and graced to do the same. Especially on Senior David Sorhan, 
that they may know God's eternal peace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For a special intention for which this Mass is being offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, bless us with your love, which we profess to be the bond of perfection. Let the peace of Christ console the hearts we offer to you with thankful prayer. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed is God for Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the law of His holiness. We offer you, Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation, humbly asking that through the intercession of the Virgin Mother of God and Saint Joseph, you may establish our families firmly your grace and your peace. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him, the holy exchange that restores our life has shown forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive unending honor, but by this wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously made holy, these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, 
at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the Lord Jesus.
Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. The body, 
the body prays. The body prays. The body prays. The body prays. The body of Christ. 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 Body of Christ. The 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 body of Christ.
bring those whom you refresh with this heavenly sacrament, most merciful Father, to imitate constant, constantly the example of a holy family, so that after the trials of this world, we may share their company forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As a reminder, you can exit any of the doors as you leave the church this evening. And also this week, we will be celebrating the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. And we'll be having Mass Thursday, January, Thursday, December 31st at 5.30 p.m. And Friday, January 1st at 8.30 a.m. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.